Wait, sorry, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome everyone. This is Happy Life Results Book Reading Group with the author Stacy McPherson. Hi guys. <laughs> and I just surprised her with the record button. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> ah, okay, so the section is stage um, three, the hero, baby talk, baby steps. Do you want to start? Before we learn to read, we picked up spoken language as a baby. Yes, we did. We did. Makes sense. Okay. Consider the powerful transformation when you learned to communicate with others. It literally opened doors that you couldn't have imagined at that tender age. While you had mentors and guides to model the use of language, you needed no instruction on how to move the information into your subconscious. Yeah, when's the part where babies get the, this is how you learn language class? They don't, right? <laughs> they don't. So how do they learn it? <laughs> they are amazing. And what's interesting too, though, is that's probably where we pick up a lot of the traditional model. Mm, when we're babies. Yeah, because it makes sense at that stage. Yep, yep, yep and, it, yep. and it seems to work at that stage. And it gets, it does get, get us where we're at now. I mean, we do a lot with the traditional model. Mm -hmm. Tons. Yeah, so when you think about babies and how when they um, want a need met, um, being cheerful and happy and... <laughs> does it work as well as... Crying and yelling and screaming. Yeah. And the louder, the more quickly you might yeah. get your needs yeah. met. Pain points seem to really work at the infant stage. Pain points seem to be the most effective tool. Yeah. So it, it, we reinforced it as a baby that the way to get it is pain. Mm -hmm. The way to get your needs met is pain. And then we flip that around and try to get other people to behave in certain ways by using pain. But then we also continue to use pain on, on ourselves, ourselves to push ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So realizing that we may have made that connection that it's not only um it's not only just instinctive and what what just happens but it's actually how to get things to happen, mm -hmm. happen. and it makes sense at that stage yeah but we didn't have language like we didn't yeah. have the ability to use words and influence and communicate and use warmth and all of these methods that are available once we grow up and so you think when we grew up, we then would we'd change it. transition. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, that worked then, and now this new system works better. Yeah, you think of a toddler and how how effective their tantrum can be. If, if you're in a public place, it's like just anything to get that child to be quiet mm -hmm. kind of feeling, especially if you're trying to get something done and have other children. I know what that's like. Mm -hmm. I had oh. three in three years, so I had yeah, two toddlers. This is a mother of seven children <laughs> speaking. <laughs> yes. And when you have one that's very young and yes. then another one three others four and you're trying others. to get you're groceries trying to get everything done with all these kids and you have just the one kid that's just having one a tantrum. screaming and having a tantrum what do you do yeah yeah I, it's it's you can see why this would be reinforced mm -hmm. um parents even even in the most optimal and we've even talked about this is there a way you could raise children without this model and even if they never cried they they <laughs> which I don't know, I mean, maybe some cultures where they wear the baby and the needs are met before the baby even realizes their needs need to be met. I mean, possibly. We've kind of played around with it. Like what if there was a touch screen and they could touch the screen to say whether they were hungry or tired or sleepy or bored or <laughs> too warm yeah. or too cold, you know, but. But yeah, so babies learn an entire language with no prior instruction on how to learn language. Babies also pick up this model for how you interact with emotions and how you mm -hmm. interact with getting things you want and that kind of thing. Yeah, so, so we kind of took two analogies just yeah. now. They were kind yep. of two separate ones, but we kind of shared them both. <laughs> yeah, because as we move forward, we're gonna be talking about the learning process. How, how do you take things that we've talked about and you've translated in your guidebook and how do we learn them like we learn a language? Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to, to think about and talk about and make sense of. And even if it doesn't make sense, the process of making it, helping it to make sense will be very beneficial. So it may seem like, okay, let's, if that doesn't make sense, just move on, which is fine too. 
but it's also fun to, if it doesn't make sense, to be curious and ask questions about why it doesn't make sense, make some notes, and then later when it makes sense, coming back to it and going, ah, I learned to read. <laughs> <laughs> I learned to talk. <laughs> so it's really fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you All right. tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.